okay i really did want to talk about this um especially after everything that went down i'm kind of glad the air is kind of cleared up and we know exactly what happened to CM Punk. Now, I know a lot of people are not happy about this. They think it is not fair. They think that people are trying to target him. <sighs> he set himself up for failure. This is not his first rodeo. He had the same issue in WWE. From what I hear, he had the same issue with ROH. But I'm not going to go into that because I don't know. But I do know in WWE, he a lot of people don't want him there because he was hard to work with. Seeing how... Everything went down in Gorilla, of all places, when you had a ton of witnesses, a ton of staff back there where this went down. He has anger issues that he needs to handle. He messed with his money because he's not going to get his contract money. His contract is now voided because of the investigation. He's not getting paid unless somehow Tony Khan decides to give him a severance package for, what, for him being fired. But to be honest with you, he's, he kind of shot himself in the foot. CM Punk has never been the type of guy that does business very well. The fact that he just left WWE and didn't return, and yeah, it was retaliation. I'm not going to lie. It was retaliation what WWE did to him. But let's be honest. The only reason why he won the lawsuit is not because he was treated unfairly. It was because the doctor violated the HIPAA Act. That is a serious violation, hence why he won the lawsuit, but he didn't even win any money for it. I don't really think that he understands unless he has a backup plan, but every backup plan he had did not turn out very well. He was pretty much humiliated in the um, UFC, especially when you have the commentators kind of questioning the type of person you are, because a lot of the commentators who seen homegrown UFC talent go up to be stars, you have these wrestlers showing up, First one being Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar having a successful run. Then you had Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley having a successful run. Then you had CM Punk, who really had a very humiliating one, at least in my opinion. So a lot of people are like, okay, why are you here? That was an epic fail. He can't go back even if he tried, unless he really did do his best to get better and he gets better from there, but I doubt he'll do it. His comics, I don't know how well they did, and seeing how the comic book industry is kind of dying now, probably would be a bad idea to go into that. Unless it's so good that people will honestly read it. Now, there are some comic book companies that are doing well. But seeing how Marvel kind of ruined a lot of stuff, as well as DC, good luck there. But that's just my opinion on that. When it comes to what happened in All In in London, the fact is how it was handled was not handled well. Am I going to put the entire blame on CM Punk? No, I'm not. Because Jack Perry didn't behave as well either. But seeing how they had a week and a half investigation in another country, I might add. This is probably something that wasn't done on American soil. And it wasn't done on American soil because it was in London. So we know that you actually had the UK police or the England police, maybe the constables, having to investigate all this. This was done outside of the U.S., and this was done for a week and a half. So, at least that's my theory on that. I don't have anything saying it was... And it, it had to be, because that's where it was. But the thing is, after everything that was in his face, after all the facts that was in his face of what went down, they told him, they gave him a suggestion, he made that decision, and I think it was a good call. To be honest with you, Tony Khan was way too friendly with his crew. His leadership and, I, and 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 being a leader is hard to balance the two. You have to be neutral. You cannot be the friend of any of your subordinates and then manage a company. You have to be neutral. Unfortunately, it is very difficult to balance the two because if you actually are too much of one thing or too much of another, there's going to either be a mutiny or they're not going to take you seriously. There has to be a middle ground. And unfortunately, it's a ground that nobody in leadership wants to be on. Because it's a ground that you got to walk alone. And in his case, that's what you got to do. I applaud him in making that decision. I applaud him for getting rid of CM Punk because he had to. And a lot of people are like, well, Jack Perry's still there. He's indefinitely suspended. Do I think he's coming back? No, he's not. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. For somebody who's in the public eye a lot, it would be stupid on his end to bring him back. Really dumb for it to bring him back. 
I think now that he realized that, that his company is falling apart and him being a wrestling fan, he's probably well aware of WCW and what happened to them. I doubt he's going to want to go that route. Do I think Jack Perry is coming back? No, I don't think he is. I think they're going to let him go and he's going to go his own way. He's not really the biggest star for them to lose. If they lose Jack Perry, it's not going to hurt the entire company. And a lot of people are like, well, see, they're going to lose money. No, they're not. They were in Chicago last night. They were in Chicago. I mean, not last night, but on Sunday night. I'm actually recording this a few days later. But on Sunday night, or Monday night, wherever it was, I forget. I think All Out actually was on Sunday. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Either or, and All Out. They were in Chicago. CM Punk Country. Yeah, they booed him, but it was to the point where they enjoyed the show. They didn't hijack the entire night. They didn't make things hard on anyone else from what I'm hearing. They actually liked the show. So what does that say about CM Punk? The fact that CM Punk got fired, you honestly will believe that him being gone is going to ruin everything. It didn't. They're able to go on without him, which shows that the guy wasn't that big of a draw. It, it, I mean, it's not like they left a golf ball size hole with him gone. The hole has been easily filled up. And the fact from what I heard, the IC Championship match was one of the best, and they main evented and did a really good job with it, they can go on without him. So for people who were fans of CM Punk thinking it's a witch hunt, honey, go back and look at, at his history. He has been known not to work well with others. And unfortunately, that was the entire character. But at the end of the day, you have a job to do. You have money to make. You have things that you have to have. Your name is what people look at. And if you don't care about that name, you don't care about making money. And that's sad. Now, am I applauding what Jack Perry did? No, I'm not. And from what I'm hearing, AEW actually rejected his idea of using real glass. So, yeah, he's in trouble for that, too. I, that's why I'm doubting he's going to come back. But at the end of the day, Tony Khan is cleaning house. He has to keep his house in order for him not for it not to break. That will be a huge investment loss because he dumped millions into that company. That will be a massive loss. So he's trying to fix it, and he can fix it now. And I think that's what he's doing. A lot of people can call him an idiot, but if you got Eric Bischoff, of all people, complimenting him for his decision, that shows that, hey, he probably made the right one because he was incredibly, incredibly cynical about AEW even surviving. So honestly, I think that Tony Khan did a, a really, really good job. And I know a lot of people are going to bring up what happened at All Out, the, the media scrum, but he did the same thing there. Everybody went home for months. We didn't see the elite for months. We didn't see CM Punk for months. We didn't see anyone else involved, including his homeboy Ace Steel for months. He did the exact same thing that he did there at All In. So y'all can't say that he's trying to have, be favorites towards the elite. He sent them home too. He ended up bringing him back and he brought CM Punk back after the investigation went through. But all I can say is that if you do this in Gorilla, which is what CM Punk did, fought Perry in Gorilla, put his, made threats towards his boss and put him in danger, that's something that you don't do. And I know a lot of people are like, well, Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon's crazy. Vince McMahon would do crazy stuff like that to, to show that he actually has some scrope. But let's be honest. That's dumb. You don't do that. You don't put anybody's life in danger, especially if it's your boss. Especially if he's not a trained wrestler. You don't do that. You don't put people who aren't wrestling in danger. That's the one thing you don't do. And that's what he got in trouble for. And Tony Khan was probably being incredibly light for what he said. All I know is that it was a hard decision for him to make, but CM Punk got to get his anger in check. And he's got to get himself in check. Especially if he wants to make money. I think it was a good call on Tony. If y'all want to criticize him, that's on y'all. But I think he made a really good call. And it shows that he's trying to get his house in order. But CM Punk need to get it together. And as for Jack Perry, I doubt he's coming back. But I want to hear y'all's thoughts on this. Let me know how you feel about this whole situation in the comment, in the, in the, um, comment section below. Because honestly, I think that... TK is realizing that things need to be checked. Things need to be worked on. Things need to be done. And he's doing it. 
and life will go on without CM Punk. But I want to hear y'all's thoughts in the comment uh, in the comment section below. If you guys like what I say, like what I'm I'm doing, um, subscribe to my channel, like this video, as well as share it with your friends. But I do want to hear what you guys um, feel about this whole situation in the, co in the comment section below. That I am done talking about CM Punk. I hope I won't have to for a while, but I'm done here. That is my two cents. I will talk to y'all later. Peace out.